Hello, Dave from Nine Guitars. Got a video today, the difference between reissue and original. Um, interest of time, I'm going to crack on straight away. I'm going to do a very simple chord progression. I'm only going to do uh, bridge and neck pickup only, just to say interest in time. Uh, if you want to see all positions, let us know, comment below, and we will do a longer video. But I say I want to kind of keep it as short as I can because I've got quite a lot to get through. So I'm going to do a simple chord progression, uh, bridge pickup. Then I'm going to switch to the original 62, uh, this is reissue, and then I'm going to switch to the original 62 and um, do the same passage again, uh, and then I'm going to do neck pickup on the re original, and now I'm going to switch back to the reissue and do a net same passage on the neck pickup, and I'll put the times below so you can kind of alternate between the two to see what kind of different sounds you kind of you can hear hopefully. Right, so this is the reissue, 1962 reissue, 62 original, this is uh, bridge pickup. Sounds like a strap to me. Okay, let's switch to the original. Right, so this is the ori uh, original, nice easy to do. Same passage, bridge pickup. I'll say from the get-go, the 62 neck is a lot fatter. It's, it feels a lot bigger, but I'll explain all that in a minute. I'll get to that, I'll get to the kind of cosmetics and the aesthetics, if you will, in a minute. But anyway, same passage again, but this time neck pickup original. Then I'm gonna do neck, pa uh, neck pickup passage on the reissue. Oh, before I do this, it's quite, uh, it's quite important to mention the scratch plate on the 62 has broken uh, around the neck pickup and because it's broken it it's forcing the neck pickup to be really close to the strings which gives it a lot of output it's quite boomy because uh, I think that's the only way I can really put it so it does take that into comparison when you're kind of making your mind up um, this is probably going to be the glare very glaringly different to the reissue because of the pickup being so high but again we can't screw it in because the scratch plate's knackered so <laughs> well knackered there so um yeah, so this is the net pickup. It's a lot of bass to that. Real load, loads of boom to it. Right, so that was the original. Back to the reissue to the net pickup. Net pickup sound, same chord progression again. I mean, that is glaringly obviously different. Personally, I prefer this one. It's got more clarity, it's, it's, it's a lot clearer. But again, it's not the 62 original's fault. It's just the scratch plate being broken there. Mine's actually going that way. Mine's lifting up. Uh, I think they all kind of did that. But anyway, moving along. Distortion. What does distortion sound like? What's the difference between? And again, just to mention, no settings are changed. It's literally same settings on each guitar. No difference. No secret people hiding at my amp, twe tweaking the dials to make, you know, whichever one sound better or worse. It's uh, I am on my own. Um, hence why I'm doing it and come from my own home, not the shop, because I'm on my own doing them. Um, this is distortion. So again, same passage, uh, just with big power chords this time. So this is the reissue. <laughs> original. As I'm trying to get on as fast as I can. I don't want to bore you too much. So this is the reissue. Uh, original, sorry. Mm -hmm. 
So I hope you can hear the difference there. I mean, there is a, there is a difference in the distortion and the fact that this one seems to have, this original 62 seems to have more output. But that could could be again, well, it, it's got a gauge 11 strings on it, so it's going to have a bit more of a thicker uh, sound to it, having gauge 11s. But again, take that into consideration because. If you look past the kind of bassiness and the, fi the, the the more thickness, you can hear the kind of same tonality of of of, of a guitar. Basically, you, you don't need to. Um, it's not an unfair test having this one having 11s, that one having 10s, because you should be able to see past that and realise that with, if you take some of the bass away, there's not a great deal of difference. I really don't see. I really, in my personal opinion, again, it's my personal opinion. I don't see much difference in tonality between this and the reissue. But I'm good again. Final test, I'm going to do a little lead passage on the neck pickup. Same settings, um, and I'm going to switch to the reissue and uh, see what you reckon to that. And so this is the neck, and obviously this is going to be a bit bassier because, again, the scratch plate broken, forcing the pickup higher. <laughs> right, so switching to reissue. Okay, here we go. Again, I find this has got more clarity, but again, it's tone is in the eye of the beholder. There's a new saying for you. <laughs> um, it really is. Everything's so subjective. I mean, you could you the way you're going to hear it is totally different to the way I hear it. But hopefully, this kind of like covers a few of those aspects that people like you know if. if you mean, if you think like this guitar is thousands of pounds, dollars, whatever currency you're, uh, you're on, um, in comparison to this guitar, which is, I bought this for 300 pounds when it was new, brand new, never been played, and I've played it to death. It actually needs a refret. But if you can, like, if you can kind of like figure out those difference in prices, I mean, you're not getting, a, in my opinion, you're buying the age and uh, the history of the guitar. You're not really buying the guitar because I wouldn't, if I owned that 60, I wouldn't go out and gig it. I would be terrified to gig it because if it got stolen, you're in trouble. Whereas a 60 reissue, you get the same kind of thing. You get re reissues, you get the same thing in a, in a newer, up to date, more reliable package. I've got to say that because I do find old guitars, being around them all day, are not as reliable as new ones. They're just not going to be. Again, I've, I've talked about that a bit more in the relicking video, but. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, you can hopefully make up, you know, make up your own mind on what you've heard. As I say, I'll put the times below and you can skip between the two, see what you reckon. But um, both great guitars, but reissue to vintage, I would go with reissue, my opinion. I would just, I, I would, I, will, I wouldn't buy an original. I would just buy a, a reissue and be quite happy with that. So um, anyway, that's my opinion. I hope you, you know, chime in below. Please let us know your opinion. We would love to, you know, love to start a conversation. Not an argument. We do not want argument on guitars. We all love guitars. We all love what they do. We all love how they sound. And we all love how we sound when we play them. It's not about saying you're crap because you sound like this. It's about saying, don't particularly like your sound, but I respect what you do. You know, it's, that's more important than going, you crap. So anyway, Dave's moral, uh, Dave's final thought. And I hope that's cleared up some, you know, I hope that's kind of been a bit helpful anyway. So, um, yeah, I'll see you on the next video where I'm going to do a difference between Telecaster, uh, Telecaster Custom and Reissue Telecaster Custom. So, see you again. Thank you very much. Bye.